Our next style of effects are um, masking, what I like to call masking and cuts. Uh, these are the window clip delimiter and the rebounds. Uh, these can be found down over here. Now what these do is they kind of modify how your shape um, kind of is shaped uh, based on axes. So if we bring, if we look down here, we have a uh, minimum and a maximum X, and this is a minimum maximum uh, size, if you will. So if we bring this down, you'll see uh, from the minimum X, so this is from the negative X, uh, it starts to bring in and starts to cut this shape. So if we bring it, we, we can cut from the other side. There we go. Maybe we can even cut from the Y axis as well. A little bit from the Y, a little from the Y. We can bring these back out just a little bit. Um, so you can see it's kind of it, it cuts, and it cuts from the edges, and then you can kind of uh, bring in your space. So if even if I change, so if I change the size of this shape, it'll still actually fit in there. So once it hits those, it becomes the clip it outside of a certain des designated size that you have. So if you had a size like this and you wanted to uh, animate it, so it was. Um, we would cut in and out like this. You could do that um, using this sort of effect. Um, and this is really good for kind of animation type tools. And limiter works very similar to the window uh, clip. However, instead of cutting it, it flattens it. So you don't lose, it doesn't cut away points, it just pushes the points into itself. Um, so you can see that how that kind of how that kind of works. So instead of cutting it, it'll push them into itself. And again, you can animate it the same way as it was before. Uh, rebound, what it does instead of uh, clipping it or pushing it to itself, it starts to bounce it. So once it reaches a certain place, it'll bounce that shape uh, over. So it kind of gives you that peeling type of effect. And you can, you can do that on the y-axis, uh, the x-axis. And uh, this, what, this what, what these two do is these act the same exact way. It just depends uh, what side you're coming from. This will come from the left and the bottom. Uh, so the negatives, X and Ys, it'll come from there. So you can do that. Or it'll come from the, the positive values. So it'll come in from the right, or it'll come in from the top. And this is a, it's a, it's a rebound instead of a limiter. So these are really interesting effects that could be used um, for kind of a, to shape things. Uh, if you wanted to kind of create a mask or you wanted to create a, um, you wanted to kind of have it layer on top of a certain shape or you wanted it to, you know, only go so far um, when it has to, maybe you have a, your map, your laser mapping on a building or something and you want to uh, kind of make sure it does not go past certain lines. You can use uh, these effects to set your boundaries. The next big type of effects we have in the key effects are what I like to call the surface warps. Um, these can be found in this sort of area, geometric surface warp, uh, bulge squeeze, uh, bend surface warp, those types of things. Those are all in this area. And what they mainly do is you can basically take them and meld your frame to a new sort of shape. And uh, so this really is helpful if you're trying to um, reshape something or you're trying to kind of animate and you almost want to have it kind of bend to what you want to do, or if you're working in a uh, on a project where you need to map something to something, you can kind of help kind of finagle it onto where it needs to go. If you have a square, you know, you can then, oh, okay, maybe I need to map this onto here. So say if you had a really weird um, projection area and you're trying to do graphics on there, you could even layer this uh, kind of surface warp um, onto inside of a projection zone and you could do then shape all of your content onto that zone so this is an interesting little thing you can do to kind of um, position things and kind of shape them the way you want them to go bulge squeeze is uh, similar except what it does is you can squeeze it um, it squeezes on this axis um, and then what you can do is you can change that axis of where it's squeezing so if we kind of bring that it'll squeeze it in different uh, It'll squeeze it in different angles. Let me just reset the default. Um, so when you actually do squeeze it, you can squeeze it from different sides. And so this is kind of more of a squeeze. Um, you can, and then you can choose which angles you want it to be and how intensive it is. Um, so that's the way that that one works. Uh, bend surface warp, pretty similar, just about axis and kind of how it actually um, pushes things into each other. 
um, pushes points into each other. Uh, again, a lot of this has to do with uh, if you're working with a graphic frame, um, and then you can do a lot of cool little things by pushing and pulling and making it fit onto whatever you'd like it to fit on. And the z-axis uh, is just if you're working with depth, um, you can kind of warp it on the z-axis uh, how you want it, want it to warp there as well. So that warp is available for all axes.